Welcome into the Cowboys Report, a victory Tuesday, but as promised, we are focused in on the kicking situation, and Brett Maher, who missed a record four extra points to open up the wild card game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Al Maher made the fifth, thank God, but that is a problem for a kicker who had honestly been really good for the Cowboys all season long. Jerry Jones, as we'll get into here, said the Cowboys would look at the Maher situation, making a change there before the 49ers game because you got, you know, a couple games left. Can't be messing around with your kicker out there. It is troubling for Maher that he had missed not just four straight in the wild card game, but he also missed the only kick he had in the Commanders game. Now, that was not a great snap, to be fair, but he missed that one wide left. Then he goes wide right, wide right again, overcompensates, I think gets a little yippy, shanks it wide left. It was a horrible kick, never close. Doinked one off the right upright, and then finally, with the game well in hand, made his extra point against the Bucks. That is troubling because it's not like you have Justin Tucker back there. It is a kicker. It is a heavily mental position, and it just raises doubts about the stability of a spot that, look, I say kickers aren't people, you're probably going to need them to just do their dang jobs at some point in the playoffs. Here's what Jerry Jones said this morning on Brett Maher Condensed Down, so it's not a you know hour-long show. This is a classic case of looking at what he's done for this team and on the field all year, not just last night. And so we'll read this thing as the week goes along. I don't want to get out over our skis and get ahead of it. I thought when he came out at halftime, watched him warm up, up out there, he was making all the kicks. I figured that was behind him, but we will take a look at it. We can't be a really big setback to go into the rest of this tournament, the rest of this playoffs, with shakiness at kicker. That leaves the door open to me about, eh, you know, maybe you at least bring somebody in or something there. But what do you guys think? Do you want to sign a new kicker? This will be the pinned comment on today's video, so you know the drill. Head down there, get those votes in. Y for yes, you do. N for no, you do not. The weird part for Brett Maher is that he's been really good this year. Uh, of course, remember from his original stint in Dallas, number change this time around. He missed three extra points all year long, not including the playoffs. He had missed the one against uh, Tampa. He had, I think, two others blocked or bad snap. Like, he was doing an awesome job, 91% field goal rate. Brett Maher was a borderline all-pro at the position this year. He had been that good for Dallas, and then he just has issues here, and the yips start to kind of rear their ugly heads, and it's concerning to the least for Dallas. Now, we will have you guys covered more in depth on Maher coming, but if roster moves happen, we'll do videos on it. You know the drill, right? We will be live early again for the Cowboys 49ers divisional round playoff game. Make sure you are subscribed. We are not that far away from 150,462 subs away as of filming. That is it. I would love to get there before kickoff. Help us out. Hit that sub button right now. Some more general thoughts here on Maher. This first one's obvious. Kicker can't be doing this. Uh, he can't be getting me to, to, to cuss all night long on our watch party because he's missing extra points. But he's been great this year. It's, it, it's weird. Uh, and I think in general this comes down to this thing that I've long held the belief of. The kicker position is very mental. And I am worried about the yips here a little bit. Uh, you miss four extra points in a row? That's not that's not normal. I would at least bring someone in here for a workout. I'm not saying you have to sign someone or cut Maher right now, but I do think you need to at least explore the workout options uh, if you are the Dallas Cowboys or else things are going to be just a little bit dicey from that standpoint. So what is your confidence level here in Brett Maher? Scale this for me from 1 to 10 in the comment section. It's probably low, but let me know in the comment section what your confidence level is in Brett Maher right now. Unfortunately, my confidence is low once again. Uh, there were many of us who were like, eh, I don't trust the kicker. It was supposed to be Jonathan Garibay, right? Then he didn't win the job. I will say this about the Cowboys, and I'll give them some credit. They have handled the kicker position well. They have not committed to one guy no matter what. They made the move to cut the guy they thought was going to win the job in Jonathan Garibay. They brought in Maher. They worked out guys. They've handled it well so far. 
And because you've handled it correctly, if not over-invested, even have the option to look at potential replacements, which we will get into here in depth. But first, today's show is sponsored by Geology. They are a 16-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, GQ, and Esquire. Geology creates simple and effective skin care and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients proven to work. Right now, for a limited time, they are hooking you up with an absolutely insane offer. You can use our code CHATSPORTS70 at chatsports.com slash geology and or just use the QR code on screen and they'll give you an exclusive 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set at 70% off. Skincare should not feel like a gamble, and Geology is the best in the skincare game. They put an end to the dark or puffy under eyes, helps you fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles, gives you smoother, hydrated skin. I've been using Geology's face wash in the mornings, uh, their dark and puffy under eye cream, and then the retinol night cream before going to bed, and my skin is looking great and feeling great. And in the shower, by the way, Geology Body Wash smells great. It's free of harsh ingredients, and it is refillable. So go to chatsports.com slash geology and or scan the QR code on screen right there and use our promo code chatsports70. That link and the promo code are in the description and the comments of today's video. And on top of the 70% off, you'll get an exclusive bonus offer on one of their brand new skin care or skin, hair, and body products of your choice when you add it to the trial. It's one of the best offers you'll ever see. Get it before it's gone. Let's get into our replacements at the kicker position. First up, the name that I think most of you will mention and recognize, Kai Forbath, Cobra Kai himself, has not really played uh, since the Cowboys let him go uh, to bring in Greg Zerline a couple years ago. Had a brief stint with the Rams. For his career, he's an 86.4% field goal kicker, 93.5% uh, from extra points. He was great for Dallas. It is weird to me that he's been unsigned for so long. There were some injury stuff too. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but Cowboys know him. That's why they brought in Maher for the workout. Could make sense this time around if you're going to at least work people out. I will put Dan Bailey on here just because, you know, it's Dan Bailey. Here's the problem. We brought this up back when Garibay was being a disaster um, uh, in, pre in preseason training camp. Dan Bailey's cooked. Uh, I, I, there's no way. He's not played since 2020. The last time we saw him, he couldn't even get to 69% of his field goals. That's just really bad. So I know he's a household name. The first five names on this list all got all guys who have played for the Cowboys at some point. But Bailey's not in it anymore. I'm sorry. In the end, who needs Dan Bailey? Tristan Vizcano, next up here, had a brief stint with the Dallas Cowboys, kind of some workouts, practice squad stuff, preseason, etc. Has kind of bounced around since then, never really earning a job. Good workout kicker to bring in. Uh, not sure, again, he's a better upgrade than Maher, but hey, you are in January. You're trying to find a free agent kicker. Your options are not going to be very good. Liram Hirulahu, next up here. Look, John Fossil knows him. He has kicked some in the NFL, Carolina and Dallas. He's had games, four or five on field goals, eight of eight on extra points. Uh, he does not have a strong leg. The Cowboys tend to prefer bigger leg guys, but if you want to get creative and add a practice squad, can a practice squad guy, I think you can still do that at this point in the season. I'm not entirely sure, but I think you can. Hire Lahu could be a good fit for Dallas. And I threw him on here, Jonathan Garibay. I do not believe it was an accident that Garibay had just so happened to pick the middle of that Cowboys game to send out some kicking highlights on social media of drills he was doing. Now, the issue for Garibay is Dallas brought him in. They wanted him to, to win the job. He didn't, and no one has really shown interest since then. Uh, kind of feel like he's very quick cup of coffee, and he's out the door uh, in the NFL. Five more names, as you can kind of see coming. But first, name a kicker who you guys want to sign in NFL free agency. Head down to the comments section and let me know. Rodrigo Blankenship is next up here. Goggles himself. In general, uh, the Cowboys like to have kickers, especially, well, let me put it this way. John Fossil, Bones, likes to have kickers that have strong legs. That is not Rodrigo Blankenship's M.O., 
he also did kick some this year. He was 80% on field goals, 80% on extra points. He was bad in 2021. I'm not that surprised. He's kind of not really in the, the league right now. He just isn't that good. The next three names all have a common theme. They were worked out by the Cowboys as part of the Brett Maher workout. They worked out four guys. Cole Murphy, first up here, USFL kicker for the Michigan Panthers. Uh, was a bit of a surprise name. Syracuse guy has not had much interest since then. J.J. Molson also had a workout. Packers know him. Uh, again, not really a great option, but he was in your candidate pool last time around. Matt Amendola uh, allegedly made more kicks than Brett Maher did in that workout, but they liked the leg from Maher more. Then Matt Amendola gets signed by the Chiefs and the Cardinals, blows the Chiefs game against Indy. He missed an extra point, uh, field goals. It was a disaster. Five of seven in both field goals and extra points. I would rather stick with Brett Maher and hope the yips go away than ride with Amendola because I just don't think he's a very good kicker. Finally, Austin Siebert once drafted. Never draft kickers. Uh, has bounced around. Lions, uh, Bengals, Browns, I think, at one point. Uh, drafted name, I suppose, is noteworthy there, but not somebody I would like to see out there for Dallas. In the end, the options aren't that great. You know, maybe it's a Kai Forbath. Maybe it's a Hyrule Lahu. Uh, maybe you just bring in people for workouts. Guy's not even on my list, and you see what happens. But you don't just go in blind and say, we're just going to ride with Maher. You at least explore the options. Now, before we go, a fun little part of some not-so-serious options for the Cowboys because, ah, eh, you made the playoffs. Let's have some fun and be happy. PFT commenter. Got some tryouts for the XFL. It was the XFL, right? Yeah, it didn't, uh, didn't go that great. But, hey, if you can get extra points, it's valuable there. I've seen producer Brett at AT&T Stadium kick a field goal. Hey, you could do it. Uh, maybe if it's only 25 yards, we're fine there. Chad Ochocinco has made extra points in the NFL before. Uh, there was a point like he was the Bengals' best kicker when they had all those issues. So we'll throw on Chad Johnson on there. And finally, last but also not least, is destroying. Uh, Donald Didlahaya, you guys know him. Uh, I get the comments all the time uh, of sign destroying, and I know what this platform is. It's YouTube, and he does a great job on YouTube. I get all that. The answer's no. He's not an NFL kicker. He wasn't that great of a college kicker, to be honest. Now, not trying to be mean here, but you're not signing a guy off of YouTube. Uh, it's just not It's not, It's not. not how it works, uh, especially in the playoff stretch. So he does great stuff, but no, uh, you're not signing destroying. For those of you wondering, I'm sorry, but the answer is going to be, be a no from the Cowboys on that front.